Wait, what? Boy, ain't no way, boy. Yo, what's going on, guys? So a lot of you may know, I already uploaded today and I wasn't planning on double uploading until I looked at the store and saw this. The new Empire Shimo Shimo Tracer Pack. I've never watched any of the movies. I don't know why it's called this. You what? Either way, we get a crazy operator skin, which looks really nice. And not only that, we get this look how crazy this thing is what this got leaked on twitter and so many people were talking about it and now it's already here wait there's also a flash grenade skin what i want to see what this does in game and there's also a finishing move that we have to try out too all i ask is that you guys drop a like on the video and subscribe surely that's fair right <laughs> Look at me. Nah, that's actually fire. Well, the total opposite, but you know what I mean. Good one. No way, the menu does not do this justice. Look how insane it looks in game. What? Nah, get me into a game right now. Yo, Aspire, what's up? Sleeping again, my dude? Yeah, man, I'm sweating at you. This time I'm sweating with you, boy. Look at this thing, man. Why does it look so crazy? They need to work on how they make these weapons look in the menu because it does not compare to this. Let's be honest. And I think this is exactly why they should let us preview the weapons that are in the bundles in the firing range before we buy them. Not only would that help us, but it would also help them because people don't see this. We've also got the stun. Let me throw the stun. It didn't do anything. <laughs> I thought it was gonna do something crazy. He just disintegrated into ice. I personally love when they add bundles like this and I think they're gonna keep doing it because they've added so many crazy bundles recently. And not just crazy bundles, crazy things. It just seems like they really want to add cool stuff into this game. The amount of stuff that I've seen leaked that's coming within season three and later, I can't help but be happy that Sledgehammer are making this game because I don't see Infinity War doing stuff like this. Even Treyarch, I don't know. Treyarch do bundles really well, I'm not gonna lie. And camos for sure. But I don't know if they would have brought back everything that Sledgehammer has brought back. Who knows? Woo! No! These are two complete opposites. I'm in Dubai and my weapon is made of ice. <laughs> what? Hit him with the stun. Okay, just about got him though. Imagine the stun was a concussion and because it slows them down, it turns them into ice for a second. That would be insane. It literally freezes them. What? Hey, they might need to start getting some ideas from me because that sounds amazing. I had to leave that last game because I forgot to put on the finishing move. But look at this, it changes in the dark too. Look how insane that looks now. Bro, oh, oh, okay. I'm just saying, it looks so crazy, man. We are also going to see how this looks with camos on top of it. Oh, oh, okay, I guess everybody just wants to cut me off today. We are also going to be seeing how this looks with camos over the top of it, just to see how it layers. That's genuinely one of my favorite things to do with these new bundles, especially when they have all of these crazy effects on them. It's only right because with some of them, they intentionally make their camos sit on them a certain way just to enhance them and make them look even better. Wait, wait. Well, since when was that a thing? All right, so someone is underneath the map. How great. Honestly, I don't think I've experienced anything like that in this game. There's my body. Look how cool I look, by the way. We got you. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I know. <laughs> Leave the game. Moments later. Have I joined the same game again? If I've joined the same game again, I think I have. Genuinely, I think it's thrown me in the same game. He's just got a swarm. If he's right below me right now, he's below me right here. I'm just trying to play the game, come on. Anyway, we joined this game late too, which is fantastic, but here it is with the gold camo on top of it, and you can still see the shine around the gun or the mist from the frost. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks cool nonetheless. What I was trying to do before I got rudely interrupted by the people ruining the game, 
I was trying to praise the game and how good Sledgehammer are doing with this game. I'm so excited to see what they continue to do. Unfortunately, everything pretty much gets leaked. Before they add pretty much everything, it gets leaked on Twitter by data miners. So a bunch of the stuff I have already seen, but regardless, I am still very excited for all of the things that I've seen. Oh. I just threw a stun. I tried to stim though. I'm still really excited for all of the things that I've seen. And I teased it a little bit in my last video, but trust me, there are things that I never thought would come back to Call of Duty that are coming back to Call of Duty. Genuinely, I cannot believe it, but it's going to be one of the most fun things ever. I've also been having a lot of fun playing Rebirth in my free time as well. I do want to get into... Whoa. I just stunned myself. Oh my. Let me get these stuns off. They are completely pointless. I do want to get into ranked play a little bit because I started to on Fortune's Keep. More so towards the end though. So I didn't really get to any crazy divisions, but I'm looking forward to grinding Rebirth rank. I don't know how good it is for a ranked play map, but hopefully it's fun. If you guys want to see some content on that, let me know. Okay, here it is with the forged camo. Can we take a look at this, please? I never look at it with Forge. It doesn't look bad though, I'll be honest, but Forge camo is just very basic. I guess that's just me. And the reason why I think that's just me is because in one of my recent videos where I was checking out another bundle, I usually check it out with every single mastery camo. But for some reason in that video, I decided to skip the Forge camo for no reason in particular, other than the fact that I just don't think it looks very good. And the amount of comments that I got from people telling me, yo, yo, Brad, you missed the Forge camo. Why didn't you do the Forge camo? I didn't know how many people love this camo. Ammo. God damn. What is this? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Priceless right now, but this is the most insane thing I have ever seen. So of course you can take the red dot sight off and it will still have the effects of the weapon, but I did not expect Priceless to look like this. What the? This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. I don't know why it does this to it. What? And see, this is what I was talking about. This is why I like to check out the camos on these blueprints because you never know what could happen. These blueprints do weird things to these weapons, man. I'm telling you. I'm still confused about the fact that I ride into a guy that is underground. <laughs> I'm so confused. And now we're playing Shoot House. This game is literally so random. Oh yeah, talking about people underground, I actually ran into my first hacker on Warzone recently. It was before this update, but it was on Fortune's Keep. And before then, I wasn't really running into any hackers. Now, I don't know whether this was the first hacker I found or it's just the first hacker that I realized was hacking. Two totally different things. But with this one, we knew he was hacking, reported him, and he got kicked out of the game straight away. Great. Wait, this guy's using... Oh, he's got the striker one. I keep throwing stones. Either way, it seems like they've got a bunch of content planned for this new season, which is great because what I was worried about with it being such a banger season from the start, a lot of the time you'll see a great season come out. It will start off great, but then because it started off so great, it kind of goes downhill because all of the cool stuff came out at the start. So now throughout the season, you just kind of get, wait, what's hitting me? I don't know what's going on then throughout the season, you just get a little bored because they don't really add too much. But this time, it seems like they're going to try and keep it consistent throughout the whole season, which is exactly what I want to see. I'm so excited for that. Oh, no. I stun again. I'm trying to stim. If I make that stim mistake one more time, I'm about to lose it. Anyway, here it is. Bro, Interstellar looks crazy too. What is this? Damn. Why do they all look so weird? I think it's just this map. I've got to see whether it's just this map after this game because if not, I've got to start checking out camos on Shoot House. This is wild. This looks like a totally different camo. Oh yeah, so just before season three, there was a creator call. It was with some of the developers from Sledgehammer and I was part of it. I was in there with a bunch of other creators and we were able to ask them questions about the upcoming season and just questions in general. Some of them they could answer, some of them they couldn't. And someone asked them about something mastery after completing the interstellar grind and the zombies grind. Something similar to Obsidian. You guys know how they added Obsidian down the line in the original Modern Warfare 2019. Portal 
those people that had completed the Damascus grind and they said something along the lines of it's in their minds they plan on doing it eventually but they just don't know when that's great news at least it's in their mind yeah that does look different it looks crazier on shoot house though but it still does look really different to what priceless usually looks like wait my teammate got an advanced uav hold up Not today. Another advanced UAV. Come on. We're flipping, popping off. Get this EMP out. Come on. That teammate's advanced UAV started everything. They are all literally right here. Wait, and they're all shooting each other because of the EMP. Oh, this is perfect. I just realized why they're all stood together. Come on, I need more kills. My teammates are taking all of them. Oh, this is a crazy head glitch. Nope, not today. Oh my goodness. Go on, teammates, please. No, how are we streaking up like this? This is so random. No! Oh yeah, I need to get the finishing move. Job. What? But yeah, man, that's enough Modern Warfare 3 for me today. I know people will be a little bit upset that I didn't check it out on the zombies camo. So here it is. I'm sure. I guess it just kind of adds this weird frosty glow over the top of them. Look at that. That looks crazy. But yeah, man, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.